Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Um, we're home, so videos will be back to normal for now. Um, I'm gonna try to find a good, I don't know, um, not like, kind of a good time to film all my videos and stuff because I feel like posting every single day is definitely a lot. So we'll see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play around with a couple of things, but um, I hope everybody is enjoying the shorts. Um, a lot of the YouTube shorts are going to be mostly horse related. Um, just because that's what I have the most videos of. I feel like the music kind of goes with a bunch of it. Um, I will put some slideshows of Mr. Gecko and Bear in there, of course. Um, but most of it will be horse related. Just because I don't do that many horse related things on like actual videos. I did just make a barn vlog, a vlog um, which will be posted tomorrow. I don't even know what day it is. Today is the 14th, so it will be posted on the 15th. Um, yeah, so um, I just made a video about this for fish. Um, so now I'm gonna make it for hamsters because it's also very important. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the tank. Obviously the tank needs to be bigger than a 40 gallon tank. I'd recommend a 50 gallon tank bigger. Any bin cages that are above 515 square inches is my kind of cutoff I think. And Ikea Detoff or anything along those lines. Just make sure that it is big enough for your hamster to roam around in. The second thing is going to be bedding. So once you have your tank, you're going to want to get comfy bedding. I recommend a good paper-based bedding in the winter. It's fine year round, um, but if your house does get hot, I recommend um, kind of layering wood shavings with paper-based bedding, just so it's not too hot for them. Um, and if your house stays cool, it doesn't really matter what bedding you use. I don't recommend using just wood bedding though because it is, it's not very comfortable to sleep on. So if you want to feel like half the tank or half the detoff or half the bin with like um, bedding where they sleep and then the other half with like wood shavings, that's totally fine. Um, make sure you have 6 to 10 inches. Make sure you buy a cage that is tall enough to fit six to ten inches along with toys and your wheel a very important thing um when i had my 20 gallon tank ugh, um i couldn't fit my wheel in it because the wheel was taller than the glass so make sure you measure out kind of some of your toys that are taller um i recommend having just a smooth line of bedding across and not having like where they sleep up high and playtime down low just because it kind of cuts that middle section off because you can't really place any toys there um i just have it level it's just easier so once you have that you're going to add i recommend a chamber hideout i really do they are a little more expensive but I really think they're great things to have for your hamsters. So if you don't have one already, I do recommend getting one. Um, Night Angel is probably the best place to get them. And you can also get cork mats for the top, which could help file down your hamster's nails. Um, if you don't want the cork, it's totally fine. It doesn't matter either way. Next thing is going to be toys. So for your hamster, I would have a variety of cork, wood, kind of like you can have plastic I'm trying to move away from plastic and move away from color and kind of focus on more of a natural setup but I'd have a different um different type of varieties of woods and cork and stuff like that I have one big big I can't talk one big piece of wood across Barry's middle of his cage but um I just got Mr. Gecko like a cork log but I didn't his, Bear's cage is so packed right now that if I do end up switching it, I can, but um, I think Mr. Gecko, his cage needs to be a little more filled at the moment while Bear, his toys are exploding everywhere. But after you have the toys, 
Um, you can have tunnels, things to climb on, things to chew, everything like that. Obviously, chew toys are also part of toys. Um, I recommend more wood than anything. Cardboard is also really easy, um, and it's free if you use, like, toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, anything like that. The next thing you're going to want is water dishes or bowls. Water dishes or water bottles. Um, I have both in my cage for the person who I bought Bear off of, um, Paws and Claws. Um, they asked that I, they like to have the water bottle and the dish. I'm not against water bottles, but I feel like there's a way better, I feel like it's more, it's easier, it's better to have just a dish. I don't like the whole thing of the bead and having to kind of get the water and it's a little bit harder. Bear does use it. Um, I was in my bedroom and he came out to get a drink of water during the middle of the day and he used the water bottle over the bowl. So I recommend actually having both if you have them both laying around. If you don't, I don't know if you want to go out of the way to buy a water bottle because you need the water bottle and if you want to stand or Velcro. It's a little extra work, but I mean, having both could benefit your hamster. And if you're using a bowl, which Bear literally does not know how to scatter feed, I, I've tried it multiple times before and he either doesn't want to find the food or doesn't eat it, or I don't know, maybe the couple times I just put too much in and he's eaten it. I don't know. For him, I think a bowl is a lot better, but I do recommend scatter feeding because it's more foraging for them to kind of go around the cage and it can give them something to do at night. So once you have all of that in, the next thing is wheels. Remember for a Syrian, it's going to be 11 to 12 inches. For a dwarf or robo, it's going to be, I still recommend like an 8 to 12 inch wheel, none less than 8. Um, for Chinese, it's also going to be 11 to 12. Um, yeah, I recommend either the Night Angel wheels for um, the 8 to 12, and um, I recommend the Woden wheel for Syrian hamsters. Um, the Woden wheel is quiet. The Night Angel wheel is also very quiet, so you don't have to worry about that. Make sure whatever wheel you're buying, the the place where they run is not wire or mesh or barred and needs to be plastic or something where it doesn't have holes so i'm not going to go through everything that can hurt them but i made a whole video about that um the next thing is going to be the lid so for a hamster obviously you don't need a heater or anything like that even in the winter time I feel like you don't really need that stuff. You can have it if you want, but I feel like you don't actually need it. And make sure you have a lid. If you have to DIY the lid, if you have to buy an extra lid, or if the tank comes with a lid, make sure you have a lid because hamsters are escape artists and will come out. Even if you have a lid on it, they will still try to break free. So make sure you have a lid no matter what. Um, it's a lot easier and it will not hurt your hamster to buy a lid. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped. Um, I know people are getting new hamsters and everything like that. So I hope this helped. And if you want me to make this same video for another pet, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.